Hello everyone, it's Sir Mr. Cherries here and today in this scripting tutorial, which is the fifth tutorial of the scripting tutorial, I'm going to be covering debounces. Some of you may have seen my tutorials when I do the debounces on if statements and variables, other things like that. Well, I'm going to be telling you what a debounce is because some of you may not know why I used why I use them in my scripts, something like that. So I'll tell you what a debounce is and I'll show you how it's made, how it's set up. So what a debounce is, it's basically a set of code which keeps a function from running too many times. So um, for example, if you didn't have a debounce, if there was no debounce on some kind of like touch event or anything, then it'll run, well, it'll run like multiple times and all that. And that mainly occurs on a touched event. So first of all, we're we're going to be printing out some sentences. So let me just insert a script, and I'll show you how debounces will work. So uh, actually, let's do it on a brick, because I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Change the material of it to no, not brick. Trying to make it smooth plastic. There we go. So let's place the script in here. And I'll quickly do this. Script.parent.touch because we want to let the player touch the brick. Connect function hit. So, and now we're going to try and do a print. So we'll print hi Mr. Cherries. And then we'll make a wait on it. Print yo yo yo. <laughs> Pretty funny. Okay. So once we touch the brick, let me get the output because it'll tell me everything. Let's clear that. Oh. So once we hit the brick, as you see, it's making it's running too many times because it's saying hi, Mr. Cherries, yo yo yo, too much. And that's because we didn't put in a debounce. So reset that. So a debounce will stop a function from running too many times. So how we're going to do that, we'll make a local variable out of it called local debounce false. Why false next to it? Because we don't want that to run too, run too many times when we touch the brick. I'll show you how it's going to work. Take that out. So we'll make an if statement out of it. So we do if not debounce then. You can do this bit. Or the either way, you can do if debounce is equal to false then. You can do that. But right now we're going to do if not debounce then. Because I haven't used this kind of like if statement before. <laughs> so if not debounce then debounce true. And then we'll do the other bit, debounce false. In the middle of, of these, we're going to do stuff. Let me just put that in for you so that you can copy what I've done. So basically, it is set out like this. You do local debounce equals false. That's the variable. And then you do this built in function right here script.parent.touched colon connect. And then in brackets, it's function and then hit. And then you put a bracket next to this end bit. So you do the if statement, if not debounce, has, is the button not pressed yet? And then yes it is pressed and when it's pressed it's gonna do stuff right here, what, what we're gonna do here. And then after that it's gonna end this function with a debounce false. So basically we need to put in the wait before the debounce will will make the script run for us when we touch it again. And I'll show you what I mean after that. So basically what we want to do, we want to print Hi Mr. Cherries. Actually, I copied it. So you do this, and then we're going to play it. Now play solo. Let's just clear the output in case there's any problems with it. And as you see, it's Hi Mr. Cherries, yo, yo, yo. Got so much of a brick flying off from us. 
Right. Step over this thing. It said, hi, Mr. Cherries. Yo, yo, yo. So, yeah, that's what a debounce will be like. So you step over it again. Does that. If you do it again, does this. Pretty cool. So have a full round with this if you if you're gonna do something really cool. But the one thing that would be really cool would be a money giver. So we're gonna do a money giver thing. So we're we're gonna keep this bit because in here we just do stuff. <laughs> so keep that there. So I'll keep this here for a minute if you wanna copy out what, what we're gonna do in that. So you can pause the video and copy this out and then you can do stuff with it as well. Right, so I'm going to create a leaderboard, but there's actually no point for you watching because I think you've seen me done a leaderboard on my Sharp GUI tutorial before. Well, which is basically the second tutorial called Buying an Item. So I'm going to skip that part because there's actually no point. Okay, here we are. We have a leaderboard here. So it took me two minutes to do this. <laughs> so it's basically not that long because I know how to make leaderboards now. But I do my own leaderboards, but this one's quite simple. So if you do, if you copy the script out, then, then yeah, you'll basically do the same what I'm doing. So it's game dot players dot player added. That's when the player joins, and it gives them the int values into the player's, um, whatever it is. It's some, it's something to do with the free files. If it. it's gonna, it's gonna put it inside the player, and it creates a leaderboard. So here we have local stats instance dot new int value. So we put we have I put that in the player as stats dot parent equals player. That's that's to um put the int value inside the player. Then the local points that is set inside leader stats because I've I didn't do player I put it to stats so it's gonna go inside stats, and then it creates points which I'll show you. It should be like this with zero and points zero. So there. Okay, now we're gonna do some stuff here. So basically, um, say if you want, if you're making a many games sort of thing, well, which is made too many times, I wouldn't, wouldn't consider making a many game. So let's say you're making a many game and no one else has created it. So basically, you want to make a point brick, or if, you, or if you're gonna make a money giver, then you can do that. So basically, how you're gonna give the player points with this debounce from giving too much money. For example, if you want to give it like 25 points, then you should be able to use a debounce. So let's take that off for a moment because we need to get the brick to find the player. So we'll do local humanoid equals hit dot parent find first child. Oops, spell mistake. Humanoid. And that means you, which is the player. So it's gonna it's gonna find the player and it'll definitely give you money. First we have to make an if statement out of it. We're gonna do a two in one if statement. So how we do the two in one if statement, you do if humanoid is not equal to nil, because it didn't catch the humanoid yet, then you just don't do this if d bounce is equal to false then. It's not going to work like that, otherwise, would it? No. So you don't do this. You do if humanoid is not equal to nil and debounce is equal to false then, because then has to be at the very end and if has to be at start. So, yeah. So there we have it. It's a two in one if statement. It's pretty easy, but it saves you more time, will save you more space doing the script. So you do that, and then uh, we'll do local player uh, game dot players get player from character hit dot parent do debounce true debounce oh spell mistake debounce false. So in this bit, do stuff. So basically, how we'll do, how we're gonna do stuff to give the player points, we do player out of that variable dot leader stats because it's gonna find the leader stats inside the player. 
dot point, which is inside stats, dot value, so that it can catch up the numbers in the inside that int value or integer value, however you want to call it. Player dot leader stats. We're going to copy that out again. Points dot value plus. If you do something like this, it's going to take away the player's money. So we don't want that. We want to give the player some money. So we do plus um, plus 25, that will do. Otherwise, if you made a variable as give points 25, then you just do give points. So we'll do that. And then we're going to play as a character. So we'll see if this works. Actually, hang on a second. We need to put in a wait. So wait three seconds before the debounce will end. <sighs> right. And as you see, it gave us 25 points. And we walk over it. It didn't give us any points because three seconds is not ended yet. So we have to wait three seconds before we can touch the brick again and it gives us points. So we walk over it. One, two, three, and then it gives us points. One, two, three, and one, two, three, gives you points. But if you do it lower than three seconds, it's not going to give you any more points. So after three seconds, you go over this brick, and it will give you points. So that's basically how debounces work. So yeah, so have have a full round with it. See what you come up with. Uh, they can be used as they can be used in tycoon buttons. Actually, another way of doing a debounce, you can put in a bool value for some point. <clears throat> so you can put in a bool value, sorry, and you can name it to debounce. But you're gonna have to change false into script dot parent dot debounce. And you're going to have to change this bit as well to debounce.value because it wants to catch up the tick box bit. <laughs> the box where it gets ticked if uh, if the debounce is going to be activated or deactivated with a true or false. So you change these to value because otherwise if you don't, it's not going to work. Do this bit. And see if no errors. That's good. And it's the same, so you don't have to do a built-in debounce, but you can do it out of a bool value. So it's pretty cool. So again, have a full round with it. See what you come up with. If you came up with something cool, then you can tell me what you've made, and I'll be ha I'll be glad to hear from you what you've made. So yeah, if you enjoy this tutorial, if this tutorial helps you out, then. You can give this a like and you can comment if you have any thoughts about the debounce, what you'll be using or something like that. I'm not sure what I'm talking about, sorry, so I'm so sorry about that. And you can subscribe to my channel if you like, I'm not bothered. But these tutorials that I make is just to help you out. But yeah, subscribe if you want. I'll be making more videos, but somehow I'll have school so I might not make a lot, but will do. So. Thank you for watching and adios.